growers are feeling the effects of a changing climate. And it's super cool that we're able to provide them with something that can be a solution. Thanks for joining us. I understand you have a leading role in the area of uh, biotech traits and the, the design of the next big trait. Yeah, so I am the uh, head of trait design and sciences in crop science R&D. My team is the discovery engine for our biotech traits. One of the traits that we're all very excited about is it's expected to launch in 2027 and it's our approach to short stature corn. Why is that important? The inspiration for our work, Bill, was the Nobel Prize winning work by Norman Borlaug, who was the father of the Green Revolution. He and others in the 1950s and 60s, through breeding, created smaller stature rice and wheat. And what this did is it allowed those plants to hold more grain without collapsing over. Those crops are credited with saving over a billion lives from starvation. With biotech, we can do that same kind of work in a much more precise way. Corn looks pretty simple, but corn actually has 12,000 more genes than us humans have. And all those genes are crammed into only 10 chromosomes as compared to our 23. So they were, you were able to sort of pinpoint parts of the corn genome that were responsible for how tall the plant grows? Yeah, this had been tried in the past. If you don't do this in the right way, um, you can get malformed or bad looking plants, right? And so what the team was able to use is something called microRNA expression to do this very precisely where you don't actually have any impact to the ears, but you have impact to the stalk. Amazing. So, okay, what's, what's the effect of this short stature corn? We have the first the varieties that are a result of our breeding technologies. They're out in the fields. The biotech traits are coming. What, what, what are we seeing? So there's a couple of, of advantages. The first is it really provides a protective effect against strong wind events, which I'm sure you've seen in the news. What happens in your conventional or kind of normal height corn is the roots kind of pull partway out of the soil or the stalk breaks. And so the farmer experiences a loss in yield because those ears aren't in a position to be harvested. With short stature corn, it's more resistive to these types of effects. You actually can get um, better developed and deeper roots, which can translate into better water access. We're seeing a 30% reduction in those plants. And the response from growers has been overwhelmingly positive. So the plant is 30% shorter, but the ears are the same? Yep, they're the same. It's funny, we're actually filming this on a day where I believe you're bracing yourselves in the Midwest for the arrival of a hurricane from Texas. Many farmers are gonna be experiencing you know, hurricane weather in uh, yeah, yeah in, in places where you wouldn't normally see that. When I started with the company, a derecho or an inland hurricane wasn't a word I think I had ever heard. And, you know, I think back over the past five or six years, it, it seems like we're having at least one per year. You know, in crop science, we push ourselves to be super ambitious because um, we have to be. Brianna, what, what's next on the horizon for you and your group? We're looking to launch 10 new blockbusters in the next 10 years. We're looking at continuing to innovate on seeds, traits, crop protection, the digital space, as well as scaling um, regenerative ag so that we can help growers maximize their productivity and sustainability. Amazing. Well, you know, protecting that, that corn yield means that there's people on the planet who will be able to eat that otherwise might not have a meal. And, uh, and that's really what uh, Health for All and Hunger for None is all about. Thank you, Brianna, for all the efforts of you and your colleagues, and thanks for joining us today.